Hi, my name is Sarah, and I'm an event planner at the Orange County Library System. I am also a published author. A lot of people have heard about literary agents, but aren't quite sure what they do. So today we're going to be talking about what a literary agent does and doesn't do for their clients. A literary agent is essentially a business agent for a writer, and they act as an intermediary between a writer and publishers or anyone else who might want to license their content, such as film producers. At minimum, they are responsible for pitching your book to publishers, negotiating the contract with those publishers, and then making sure the publisher adheres to that contract. I will talk in a later video about the process of actually getting a literary agent, but once you have one, here's what you can expect. Once you're a client, a literary agent will help you prepare your book for submission, and what this entails can vary very widely. For fiction, at minimum, they will develop a pitch letter. Many agents will also request revisions on the book after you have signed with them and before going out on submission. These agents are often called editorial, and some are more editorial than others. Some are not editorial at all. Different books also require different amounts of editing before going out on submission. So it could be anything like light copy edits to a full rewrite. But most agents won't sign a book that they think needs a full rewrite unless they feel extremely strongly about it. For nonfiction, the agent will usually work with a writer to develop a proposal, which includes a pitch letter and other pieces. These pieces could include sample chapters, an outline, a marketing plan, more information about the writer's platform, or more things. However, narrative nonfiction and memoir are sold and pitched more often like a novel than like other nonfiction. Once the agent thinks your book is ready to be seen by editors, they will develop a curated list of editors that they think would be interested in it. An agent will often share this list with you before submitting to make sure that you don't have any issues with the list. A big part of an agent's job is to research the editors and their genre and develop relationships with them over time so they can be aware of exactly what those editors are looking for. Once everything is ready, the agent will send your submission package to those editors. This is commonly called going on submission. It can often take several months to hear back from these editors, and so your agent will often follow up with emails or phone calls to nudge the editors. Once an editor is interested in buying your book, your agent will often coordinate and make sure the other editors know to see if they would like to throw their hat in the ring. If multiple publishers want your book, it may go to what we call an auction, which is where publishers will make competing offers. Your agent will serve as the point of contact for this process and communicate any offers to you, as well as offer advice and guidance along the way. Once you've decided to accept an offer, the agent begins the process of negotiating the contract. This is, can actually take a lot longer than most people think. Unlike other arrangements you may have heard about for film or TV, your agent only represents you, the writer, and they are focused on getting you the best possible deal and the best contract. Once the contract is signed, the agent is not usually as involved in the process of working with the publisher to get the book ready for publication, but they can step in at any time if there are any issues. Your agent is now responsible for receiving your payments and writing you checks. The publisher will send the literary agency the full payment. Your agent will then subtract their 15% commission and send the balance to you. This is how literary agents get paid. They receive an industry standard 15% commission on anything that they sell. Some of these rates may vary depending on movie or translation rights or that kind of thing. Your agent will also be the contact for anyone else who is looking to purchase additional rights to your book, such as translation rights or film or television adaptations. Not all agents actively pursue these rights. Some do. It varies pretty widely. Once that first book is sold, your agent will usually continue to be your agent until one of you decides to terminate your relationship. Most agents will help you shape and guide your career, helping you determine next steps and career strategy. So for example, when it's time for me to start writing a new book, my agent is going to help me decide which of the many ideas I should start working on, and she's going to make that decision based largely on the market. Some agents may also provide publicity, marketing, and financial advice, but it is not a requirement of the job. 
Now that I've talked about what a literary agent does, I'd like to talk a little bit about a couple things that literary agents don't usually do. Agents are not publishers and they do not publish books. This is a common misconception that I see among newer writers. However, some agencies may choose to help one of their current clients self-publish a book, depending on the agency, depending on the market, and depending on what's right for the author's career. They should not charge the writer any money. If they do, this is a big red flag, especially if they're telling you that this is just how it's done. That is a manipulative tactic. Agents don't always sign every book that their clients write. Sometimes they may take it on submission and try their best and they just aren't able to place it. Or sometimes they may decide that they don't want to take it out on submission. An agent's job is not to teach writers how to write a book. Many of them are editorial and do provide guidance along the way, but they're not going to take on a writer who doesn't have the basic writing skills uh, just because they like the idea. I discussed the way that agents get paid, and so it's important to note that they don't get paid to read queries. This is why it may seem that some literary agents' lowest priority is reading queries, even though querying writers would prefer for it to be their highest priority. But they have to take care of their current clients first and take care of their current clients' needs before they look for more clients. I hope this video has helped you understand what literary agents do and don't do. If you have any questions, please feel free to drop them in the comments. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Thank you for watching. To learn more about writing workshops and see more videos, visit ocls.info slash writers corner. Orange County Library System is your place to learn, grow, connect.